Welcome to the LifeTouch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to view and merge orders for yearbooks and advertisements that have been submitted on YB Pay or manually through the LifeTouch Yearbook website. From the dashboard, we'll hover over Sales Tracker and select Order Management. Here, we see an overview of our orders. On the left, we can see our total yearbook orders, and on the right, we'll see a summary of all sales, payments received, discounts, and unpaid balances. Let's get a closer look at our orders by clicking View Order List. So here's a list of all the subject records for the students and staff at our school. As students and their families place orders, their order information will appear next to their name. If we just want to see the records for those who have placed orders, we can check the Only Show Records with Orders box here. There! Let's open one of these orders for more detail. Here, we see the order details for the student, Jessica Atkins. We can see the date when her order was created, when it was modified, and what was ordered. It looks like two copies of a $7 yearbook. Under Payments, we see that the yearbooks were paid for by cash, and that there is no remaining balance due for this account. For info on editing this order and adding payments or refunds, be sure to check out our episode on editing orders. For now, let's return to our order management page by clicking Order Management, and then pull our order list again by clicking View Order List. Next, let's discuss merging orders by using an example of a pretty common situation. Here, we see two similar names, Joey Akison and Joseph Akison. When we hover over Joey's name, we see his portrait. But when we hover over Joseph, there isn't one. On the right, we also see a warning that this order doesn't have a LifeTouch portrait associated with it. Sometimes, when parents or relatives are placing an order for a yearbook, they might enter a student name that's slightly different from the name listed on their subject record, such as Joseph instead of Joey. Merging orders allows us to take this order for Joseph and tell the yearbook website that it should really be for Joey. Let's try it together. Here at the bottom of the page, we have a couple drop areas for the records we want to combine. On the right, we can drop the record we want to keep, the correct record, which in this case is Joey Akison. Let's grab his record by clicking, dragging, and dropping the handle into this drop area. On the left, we can drop the record we want to combine. So I'll find the order for Joseph Akison, and then click, drag, and drop that record here. Next, we'll click Merge Orders, and then click Yes. There! Our orders were merged successfully. Looking at the order list, we now see that the order for Joseph was combined with Joey's subject record. And that's how to view and merge orders. For more info on managing orders, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!